Okay, riding the bus. Going to be leaving um, the West Central uh, Walmart, West Central Minnesota Walmart. It's 458 for the pumpkins. They're really big. Yeah, it'll it'll keep cooling down. Okay, so we are leaving Walmart on the bus, uh, it's like a shuttle bus, town bus, costs two bucks uh, or three bucks depending on where you're at and when you call. You have to call for uh, a ride. As you can see the trees are changing pretty good up here. See what the gas is. The gas at Casey's. I'm on my way. I'm Three fifty-four. No wait. Three sixty-nine for unleaded and four twenty-eight for the diesel. The train comes through here. The um, Canadian Pacific. They come through here quite a bit. Yes. Going up to wherever they go. <laughs> Canada, I suppose, and well, North Dakota. Uh, just a freight train, uh, no um, uh, passengers. Although Amtrak goes uh, from Minneapolis, that comes in from Chicago, to a um, small town up there and a little north. Uh, in Minnesota, uh, could be around That's Detroit Lakes or something, and it goes on to Fargo, and then I believe across Montana, and it goes to either Portland, Oregon, or Seattle, Washington. That's the Amtrak. There's corn. <clears throat> so we're going on a sightseeing deal here. I'll show you the area. We're going on a roundabout, which has got to be a bummer for some eyes. And we have we have construction going on all over the place in this town. I don't know what this is going to be. Lots of property for sale yet here in this town. Uh, 
housing is tough um, for apartments. They just kind of lack in that apartment, um, except for if you're rich. If you're a senior and you're rich, uh, they seem to have uh, a lot of building for senior apartments for the rich rich seniors rent going for 2000 and up usually around $3000 a month so it's, it's a racket really try to go after the seniors and not enough housing for regular families that are you know blue collar workers A lot of these apartments today here in this small town are around 1,200. Um, they used to be around 800, now they're around 1,000 12, and 1,200. They do have H A uh, which is H R A and it's stuff like that here but it's quite the waiting list from what I understand it could be two three years just past the Sasquatch with the Viking shirt on it yeah, they're right. 369 at Arco. They have a jam. I don't know if they do it once a month or what at Colville. People play music out there. Oh, yeah, I know. So much to remember. Right. What is nice, you can get to have that list. Most of the houses here in this particular um, town, but um, are. House is built in oh, 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s, and the newer ones are a little bit further out. It's got a lot of uh, nature around the area because of the lakes. You know, kind of a typical north midwest town. It's about a couple hours' drive from uh, Minneapolis. People, um, when they fly out to the, or when they go out to Minneapolis to fly out of the airport, Minneapolis International Airport, Minneapolis St. Paul. Um, it usually takes about two hours, um, but if you're going through traffic, it's going to take you a real long time. This is a historic building, um, some kind of greenery building. It's got a historic, the historical uh, buildings around here, like this White House up here. Beautiful restored house. This town really grows on you. When I first came up here, it was odd for me because I was more closer to the um, city kind of stuff. But uh, I wouldn't leave this town now. It's uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful little town. They re um, that building there was an old school or something and turned it into apartments. And now we're getting closer down to downtown. Got a bunch of 
shops, novelty shops, bookstores, banks, that sort of stuff. Some really old buildings that are still being used. Yeah, right. Miss the main main street here. Okay. 